Hello ladies and gents and welcome to a little bit of a product focus. My name is Amanda, I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator in the UK and I've just received this die that I purchased for myself today and I've just got to come on and share with you because I really do feel it would be mean to keep this to myself. Um, you find this die in the Project Life section which might not be a section that everybody looks in but I spotted this die quite a while back and I went umming and ahhing and umming and ahhing and anyway last week I took the plunge and I bought it and I am so thrilled I've literally I've shared it on Facebook I've shared it on Instagram and I've jumped straight on here to share it with you because it is the best thing ever I'm so excited and it's called Project Life Paper Clips Thin Lips okay now you get in here one two three four five six seven dies okay now this is not just for project life this is for anybody if you are a planner geek if you are a stationery queen if you just like cute things then this is definitely die for you what it does is it cuts out paper clips and if i just do this and show you it cuts out the holes here are just to help you poke the thing out even though look even the dies are happy they're smiling at us and um, basically it cuts it out and then you've got your you know your, your paper clip shape it's absolutely outstanding so I'm going to quickly I'm going to actually cut them out for you so you can have a look and I'm going to show you what I did when I've just uh, I've just made some to go on a uh, project that I was doing for a swap which was a desk diary and I've cut some of these out to go on the diary. So, let I may as well cut the, uh, no, cut that later. So, just get them off of the, and what I've done is I've got a piece of cardstock here and a piece of pattern paper because I layered mine and I, uh, to make them that little bit stronger, I cut them out with the cardstock and the paper and then I glued them together. Okay, so I'm going to do, uh, I'll cut them all out and then you can have a look at the shapes. Now, you could leave them plain, you could embellish them with, I mean, you've got room at the top of here to embellish with a small um, sentiment, with a flower, with hearts, with mini envelope. There are so many different things you could do with these dies. I cannot wait. I'm going to make a load of them. Um, I've got to be a little bit quieter than I normally am, if you're wondering why I'm not as loud as normal. Because <laughs> it's a little bit late here at, at my house and um, everybody else has been quiet. <laughs> so that means I've got to be a bit quiet as well. Uh, takes me long enough to get them off the sticky back. Uh, put that one there and in, I will cut the you get a a small I suppose it's for project life in small tag and you get oh, I've just dropped it on the floor you do get the larger one as well so I'm not going to cut that one out just now I'll cut these out uh, with my plate now I do have <laughs> quite worn because I've been doing a lot of cutting today just a piece of cardstock on the top of my plate it's just a shim it's just because um, I just find that it helps make sure that you're cutting everything out perfectly so let's get that through my dice cutting machine and hope I'm trying to do it like a little bit daintily so it doesn't knock my camera over Oh, I'm shaking it. I'm trying not to. Okay. Right, and let's go back. And I once heard that you're not meant to go forwards and backwards with these, but I do. Never done my machine any harm, and I've had it ages. Right, so I'll just remove that. I'll remove, ooh, remove that. And there we go. Oh, one's stuck on the, obviously stuck on the plate because it's, uh, there we go. <laughs> it's stuck on top of my plate. There we go. Let me get that off. I think I need some more plates. <laughs> so, Matt's cut out my little 
my little card and we've got our paper clips so let's remove all of this and then we'll look at the what we've got so we can move that move that away and move that away Oop, I've just thrown one on the floor where's it gone <laughs> just swiped one onto the floor and I don't oh there it is <laughs> I went like that and swiped it straight onto the floor. I don't want to lose my brand new dies. Right, so let's poke it out. It's come out very, very easy. Get rid of that. And as we can see, I have cut two layers. Take the that little bit out. And see, that would be the bit you took. So if I show you on this card that I've just cut out, you would took that like that or like that how cute is that oh my goodness <laughs> I just love really cute little stuff I think there is and then we've got this little shape here we just get these bits out there we go there you go look at that <laughs> let me just pick my card up oh I can't pick them up I need to grow my nails and then clip that on there like that. Oh, how cute is that? <laughs> Sorry for the shadows, I say it's quite late at night. And then we've got a little heart shaped one. Um, I've been demonstrating, well, I showed some pictures of it on Facebook and everybody were like, oh, wow, I don't, I don't recall seeing that. Well, it's in the Project Life section. I'll leave a link below. Um, and the catalogue number, so you can go and have a look. There's the heart shaped one. <gasps> I'm absolutely in love. And I like this one because it's like a speech bubble. Um, with the little doodle, let's put those bits out. And just show you with the patterned paper. So if you were doing your project life or something, you could put it on your page can't pick it up now you could put it on your page like so your little speech bubble and some little tiny writing or have it pointing towards something but what I would be inclined to do just to make them that little bit more secure or for prettiness sakes I get my fine tip glue pen and um, we'll take this one as an example uh, a little bit of glue Smush it about. Smush, smush, smush. I'm going to sit and make a load of these tonight. Um, I just think they're so cute. I just love cute little stuff. I know I've said that, but I like to repeat myself at least three times. <laughs> I'm going to just carefully layer that on the top. Just to make it a little bit more sturdy because it is paper crafting and also to make that paper clip pretty and obviously with all the stamping up colours you can coordinate it exactly to whatever colour you're using how awesome is that I'm absolutely in love with these so Project Life paper clip thinlets these are them Comes in this lovely Project Life, best exclusive to Stampin' Up. Go and grab yourself some and make some cute little paper clips. <gasps> Thanks for watching, I just had to share. Bye for now. <laughs>